Hi guys, I'm so excited to see you. I've missed you so much. And you're probably excited too. I'm sure you just got a delivery of all kinds of materials. In there is a whole packet about the weather. So in this packet, there are eight weeks of activities that we're gonna do while we learn about the weather. And what a great time being summer. You guys can get outside and do your projects outdoors. For this week, we are going to start to fill in a weather chart. I don't have the weather chart with me, but it's the picture, the first picture on the top. This did not come with your materials. It was emailed to your parents. So you can either print it out and use the one I gave you, or you can get creative and make your own weather chart. You can do it on a calendar or just on a piece of paper. And all you wanna be watching for is if it's sunny, if it's raining, if there's clouds in the sky, and you can mark those all down. I also have sent you this picture of all the different types of clouds. So with the clouds, you can look at your picture and go out and look at the sky and see if you can figure out what kinds of clouds might be out there for the day. And then you can take your chart that is clouds of the month, this one, is also emailed to your parents and you can put a little dot by whatever cloud you think is in the sky that day and the clouds might change there might be no clouds in the morning and there may be a lot of clouds in the afternoon but they could change so you can add it just once during the day as many times as you want and you can track what kinds of clouds there are so for this week I just want you to get outdoors and watch the weather and check it out and see what you can what you see mark what you see i also have a book here that's all about the weather and it says on the title weather words there are a lot of words that come with the weather look it's sunny oh i need my boots it's raining it's beginning to snow I hope it doesn't snow anytime soon. The weather forecast is fair today. It sure is hot and humid. As you know, the weather changes all the time, especially here in Vermont. It might be cold, cold in the morning, and it might be super hot in the afternoon. So there's temperature, and there's also air pressure. There's moisture, and there's wind. The temperature can be high or low. It can be mild or chilly. It can be hot or cold. The air pressure changes too. High pressure might mean that it's nice out. Low pressure might show rain and clouds. Moisture. If it's humid, there's a lot of moisture in the air. We also get dew at night, that wetness on the grass in the morning, that's when the dew falls. And there's frost. That's like if the dew freezes. Water vapor is part of the water cycle. That's when the sun sucks the water right up into the clouds. And then clouds come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, just like on your cloud chart. And they all mean different things. It can be a little bit sunny. It can be cloudy. It could just be raining. Clouds also drop snow, and they can thunder and lightning. Clouds that are close to the earth are also called fog. And the rain forms inside the clouds before it falls. There's all different kinds of rain. A little bit of rain is a drizzle. Rain is just rain. A shower is when it, when it rains just for a little bit. 
A rainstorm is when it rains a lot and there's usually a lot of wind. Thunderstorms are when there's electricity in the clouds. We also get rainbows from the rain and that is when the sun shines through the raindrops and it creates a beautiful rainbow. There's also different kinds of snow, just like different kinds of rain. We get flurries is when it snows just a little bit. A snowstorm is when you can get a lot of snow all at once. Sleet is like a freezing rain. A blizzard, we have those too. That's when we get a lot, a lot of snow. And hail is like freezing rain, but it's bigger ice chunks that fall from the sky. Wind, there's also a lot of different words to describe the wind. It's gusty, or there's a gale, which is a very strong windstorm. A hurricane, which is a spiral-shaped windstorm. And then a tornado, which is a funnel-shaped windstorm. So depending on what the weather is, we'll dress for it. If it's hot, we might go to the beach and always wear our sunscreen. If it's chilly, we'll dress up in some long sleeves. So I just skimmed our book about the weather, but as we do our unit on weather, we'll visit different parts of this book because we are going to build different instruments to measure all the different types of weather. And you'll also be able to track those on your weather charts or if you can't print them, you can create your own weather charts. You can also draw pictures of the clouds. I can't wait to do our first hands-on project next week. Have fun tracking the weather.